So, should I tell you what we're playing or just tear into it? Tear it. These are called some jigs. <laughs> now, this first one is called Kamba's Beef Jig. Just let me hear your E one more time. Close enough. You ready? Okay, one, two, three, four. That last tune is one we learned from our son Owen when he was about eight. He, I don't know where he picked it up. It was a slip jig. In any case, uh, so uh, don't need to say too much, do we? So we're going to play. <laughs> but see, we're doing, I guess some of you don't know our stuff. It's Irish traditional music. A lot of it's pretty old, like hundreds of years. And some of it is not that old. Like this next piece uh, Susan composed. It's called Murphy's Golden. So we'll play this.
Okay, next time. <laughs> uh, so uh, those were uh, some reels. Most of the stuff we're playing in is originally dance music, so it falls into kind of certain rhythmic categories. And uh, uh, this next set, uh, it's a little out of the ordinary. Uh, the first piece is, we call them mazurkas. So in, in the northern part of Ireland, in Donegal, they, they play these kinds of tunes. They're in three, they call them mazurkas. And so uh, we've kind of uh, fit uh, a couple other <laughs> unusual tunes in with it. So. Uh, Back from Mexico, sounds great. <laughs> 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 but ask me
that last so that it was kind of a medley. The the piece in the middle was called uh, Johann's Favorite. I just made that up. But in the Irish music world, people make up names for things all the time. Like no two people generally use the same name. They don't do that in the classical world. You know, so. And there are many Irish tunes called So and So's Favorite. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> <amazing. clears throat> Wolfie's Favorite. Wolfie's that's, favorite. A, that's a good one. Right. <clears throat> but anyway, and then the last tune, uh, some of you might be familiar with it. Brendan, you've heard that, haven't you? Hewlett. It's an O'Carolan tune. And uh, Turlock O'Carolan, of course, was the great Irish harper. And uh, he lived and composed in the late 17th century. And he was kind of caught between two worlds. Like we did a program uh, uh, for Early Music Seattle last year. It was very interesting being asked to do that because we ended up kind of delving into the fact of like O'Carolan's life, his music. Uh, he was from the old Gaelic harping tradition and bardic tradition but he was hearing the music in some of the big houses in Ireland at the time, the, more of what we'd call Baroque music. So he found himself kind of assimilating some of that music uh, to the chagrin of some of his friends in the, the older style. So he was a, kind of the Beatles of his day in a way. <laughs> so <clears throat> so uh, we're going to do another O'Carolan piece now, right? And this is a slow, sad one that... Uh, he wrote, it's called Mabel Kelly. So at the time, unlike now, musicians were uh, 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 kind of like, uh, I was going to say, he went around Ireland with a harp, and uh, I used to always wonder how the heck he was able to do that, because he was blind. So he went around with a harp, but it turned out he had been given a donkey and a servant. <laughs> and... It, I, when I heard that, I was kind of jealous because we don't really get that kind of thing now. You know, <laughs> like, you might have a rental car and a credit card, but that's about as far as you get. But anyway, uh, he was in love with this young woman in this one house where he stayed off, and uh, but he could never hope to kind of date her. So he wrote this piece instead. It's called Mabel Kelly. Let me just take the tune down.
Hola, amor, ¿cómo estás? ¿Cómo suena bien? ¿Cómo suena padre? Bien, ¿y tú? ¿Ah? He only speaks in Spanish for some reason uh, on stage. You know, I can never get him to say much in English. Really. <laughs> 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 he's just, he's just pulling your chain. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we have a couple more. Uh, uh, so these are some tunes. We call these, you know, in, in Irish music, like I say, you have rhythmic types for dancing. And, you know, the most famous type is an Irish jig. And that's like, you know, it's always, there's more than one way to count them. The way, most of us count them as in two, but the beats are divided into threes, one and a two and a three and that, like that. So that's what these are. And that the first one is one that I made up, and we call it the High Flyer. Uh, it's for my son, Owen, who at the time was really into aviation. So uh, that's that. And then uh, the Queen of the Rushes. And what's the last one? Uh, the, the Lark on the Strand. Okay. So don't forget these names are available at exam later. So. <laughs> Yeah, not too fast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Two, three, four.
thanks very much. This has been great. Like I say, I'm looking around while I'm playing here and have a lot of memories of uh, recording in here and uh, various activities. That, uh, it's a great, great place. Many thanks to Jack Straw Foundation and everybody for having us here today and also just for your ongoing programs. Hopefully, uh, uh, we'll be back soon. But uh, we're in with these. This is our last set, so yeah. Um, <clears throat> you know, I told you about reels and jigs. Well, there's another one, hornpipes. There's a this certain thing, this, like I say, this tradition goes back hundreds of years, and certain types of dances and rhythms have stayed the same over that whole time, space of time. So uh, this is one, and it's called Tomb Graney Castle. And uh, it's special for me because I've spent a lot of time in County Clare in Ireland, in East Clare in particular. And there's a small castle there, I think it's about a thousand years old, called Tomb Graney. And I think it's possible some friends from around there might be watching here today. So <laughs> we'll just say up the banner and that'll be it. But uh, uh, So we'll start off with that and then some reels from a great, great musician named Junior Crehan, who was in his 90s and they still called him Junior when he <laughs> passed away. Uh, so those are two of my favorites. One is the West Clare Railway and the, uh, uh, the Otters Holt. And the very last tune is called The Dune. So we'll end with those. But thanks very much, everybody, for being here. Are you ready, gang? Okay. We'll get food after this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <It's the> carrots. <laughs> carrots, yeah. Maybe a stick in too, you never know.